Hi, my name is Tito, and here are some of the stories and trends that were big in Nigeria this week on social media. The 2019 Presidential Debate Our first story is last weekend's presidential debate, which had candidates from the ANN, ACPN, and the YPP present. That's Fela Durotoye, Dr. Obi Ezekwesli, and Professor Kingsley Mohalu, who all wowed the studio and viewing audiences with their proposed solutions to Nigeria's problems. Absent from the debate, however, were the candidates of the APC and the PDP, which kind of leads to why the next two people were trending a lot this week. President Buhari and Atiku Abubakar. The two presidential candidates who didn't attend last weekend's debate infuriated people online who said that it was a blatant show of disrespect to Nigerians. Atiku Abubakar, the PDP candidate, did show up but chose not to join the debate because of the absence of President Buhari who he sought to challenge. Both men did trend online, however, for other reasons. Atiku because of his recent trip to the US after 12 years, and President Buhari because of things like the proposed new minimum wage and the investigation of Chief Justice of the Federation, Justice Onogen. Chris Brown's Rape Allegations Singer Chris Brown was arrested on Monday, the 21st of January in Paris following rape accusations. A 24-year-old woman said she met Brown in a club and followed him to his hotel room where Brown and two other men abused her, she said. Brown vehemently denied the accusations on his social media handles and has vowed to sue his accuser for slander. He was released from custody during the week. Adekunle Gold and Simi The newlyweds who are enjoying their honeymoon in Cape Town, South Africa have been posting pictures on Instagram and commenting on how happy they are. And people are still in their comments wishing them happiness and marital bliss. Now, this is the kind of trending story that we like to hear. Obasanjo. Former President Obasanjo was in the news earlier in the week after having some very harsh words for President Buhari. On Sunday, in an open letter, the former president likened President Buhari and his administration to that of General Thani Abacha, saying that their time at the helm of affairs were quite similar in different ways. Yikes. Later, in an interview with BBC Yoruba, he had more unflattering words for the president, calling him sick in spirit, body, and soul. The presidency also reacted to Obasanjo in a statement that they called presidency to Obasanjo get well soon. APC party leader Bola Tinumbu also had a few words for Obasanjo, calling him an expired leader who was ranting and lying. Obi is equity. ACPN presidential candidate Dr. Obi Ezekwesili shocked the whole country Thursday morning when she announced she'd be withdrawing from the presidential race to pursue the possibility of a coalition strong enough to win the 2019 elections. However, it didn't end there. Her party, the ACPN, moments after denounced her, saying her intentions weren't genuine from the beginning, and they went on to give their support to President Buhari. Shocking, you say, <laughs> but wait, there's more. INEC also put out a statement rejecting Dr. Ezekwesli's withdrawal from the 2019 elections because according to the Electoral Act, a candidate can only withdraw from the race no less than 45 days from the election. Messy. So messy. For details on these stories and many more, visit olorisupergirl.com.